Grade 8 math, number 10.2F. We're still talking about algebraic dilations, and now we're going to talk about open shapes. A dilation can occur to an open shape. That's a figure made of line segments, and at least one line segment isn't connected at its endpoint. I want you to remember that the center of dilation can be inside or outside the original figure, the pre-image and the center of dilation can be anywhere on the coordinate plane as long as the vertices that correspond to each other are connected by lines that intersect or meet at the center of dilation. And remember, sometimes a pre-image and its image can share and have points that overlap, but they won't be corresponding unless the scale factor is 1 and the same they have the same xy values, like we saw in the last video. So, open shapes, closed shapes. Open shapes are open. See? The lines don't connect. The line segments, their endpoints don't connect to each other. Where a closed shape, they are all closed. See? Well, we can do a dilation for an open shape. See this big blue W? We can dilate it by a scale factor of a half and make the new one, the pink one. We do a reduction by a scale factor of a half to an open shape. See? We do the same procedure as we did for the closed shapes. We use the same mathematic notation and our scale factor, what normally would have been k here, is now a half because that's our scale factor and they use k to represent whatever the scale factor is. So we've got x and y are going to be multiplied by a half for x and a half for y. So if a for the blue w is at 2, 8, let's look, a is at 2 for x and 8 for y. See that? We're going to multiply that by a half, so the 2 is going to be cut in half and the 8 is going to be cut in half. So half times 2 and half times 8 becomes a 1 and a 4 for a prime. See that? So we plot that 1 and the 4. So now we've got a prime. And we do the exact same things for b, c, d, e. We multiply each one of them by a half. See? We get our coordinates for b prime, c prime, d prime, and e prime. Half of 4 and 4 is 2 and 2. Half of 6 and 8 is a 3 and a 4. Half of an 8 and a 4 is a 4 and a 2. Half of a 10 and an 8 would be a 5 and a 4. We've got them all plotted. We draw the lines connect, connecting the points between them. And we see that we've got a w that is half the size of the blue one. See? By multiplying each of the x and y coordinates of the blue w pre-image by a half, we were able to reduce it. It went through a reduction to the image a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime, e prime, and they're open. And remember, if we're not told the center of dilation, we just assume it's the origin. Right? So, if you're really confused about all this, then you must have skipped and landed into my videos by accident in the middle here. So, we're at number... 10.2f. We've already covered chapter 10 and I'm getting ready to go on to 10.3. Well, you must have missed these videos. If you want to know about the center of dilation, go back and watch 10.1d. If you want to know about scale factors, go back and watch number 10.1c. And if you don't understand this mathematical notation we did that we multiplied it by a half, you need to go back to 10.2c and if you really are confused, I would go back to 10.1a and watch all the videos of 10.1 ABCD and all of the 10.2 videos ABCDEF, okay? Because we're going on to 10.3 now, and if you're confused, I say something new in every video. Otherwise, I wouldn't make the video. So, try to keep up. I hope you're doing okay. I really do. And I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about a new topic and we're going on to 10.3a and that's going to be similar figures okay I'll see you there bye